right now and uh, I have a two children you know mm -hmm. and I always tell them that um, you might not know the effect you know and mm -hmm. the sin always causes misery Absolutely. Right? there's sure. always a cause and effect on sin right yeah so you start at a younger age when you're taught that um, masturbation is very normal you know that came right out of Kinsey who mm -hmm. masturbated like crazy mm -hmm. by the way and mm -hmm. he apparently died of it he tortured himself so badly put things into his youth <laughs> I mean, and then wrapped himself well, in... But it's a sinful uh, act, you know, yeah, in, in yeah, our I mean, religion. We'll have to confess that if yes, you do that. Yeah, well... Yeah, yeah what we're saying, you graduate from um, masturbation to pornography, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then leading to fornication, mm -hmm. and then you become adulterous, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you end up... Um, being impotent, right? Sexually impotent. Oh, very, very, a very young age. Huge, huge you increase know? in impotence mm -hmm. amongst our young guys. You're uh, saying Paris also? A par oh, the, the center of the lovers of the world. Italy, <laughs> Paris, they're reporting in and they're saying, hey, what's going on? Our 20-year-old guys are not functioning. Oh, and really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. These, are, these are reports. Absolutely. Huh? No, this, I'm not just saying this. These are the reports from the countries. And they are admitting, they are now admitting that it is due to the pornographic materials the guys are using, mm -hmm. which means that they cannot function without this. Mm -hmm. Potency is, the de definition mm -hmm. of potency is with your own power. Right. Impotence means you don't have your own power. Right, right. You have to think of some eye, some picture or, you know, some, you can be with the most beautiful yeah. person in the world and that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're finding a massive increase in impotence amongst our guys, not just um, sexual dysfunction and not just disease, AIDS and so forth, but yeah, and not just sex crimes. And then they blame funny. their wives. Absolutely. They don't know. What? What? They're going to blame the pornographers? Yeah. They, that like my wife is very boring now. Right, So they right, right. experiment on other sure, things. Sure, sure, sure. She's, she's too old. She's 23. Yeah, but no. Viagra is not the, the answer to their problems. No, the Viagra doesn't work. Uh, they tried for a little while, and they think they're going to do, do you know, just fine. It was fine. a Filipino who discovered uh, Viagra. Ah, hmm. why did he need to discover? Is my question. Well. Never mind. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but certainly, you have created enemies, right? Yes. Well, I do have a few. I think now. I think. Mm. But you judge a person by their enemies, not well, by their friends. Well, this uh, pornographic business, like a twelve million dollar business. Yeah. It's yeah. a great industry. Huge. Yeah. Huge, especially now that they're linked with big pharmacology. Mm. It's it's a big problem. But we won in many cases. Won, as I said, in the Netherlands uh, against Playboy, and um, Southland Seven Eleven, a big mm -hmm. chain store. Well, that could be your biggest uh, victory, right? It was a big one. You should be yeah. proud of that. I'm very proud of that. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of that. We did pretty well on that one. Yeah. Well, I did, you didn't answer my question earlier. If you're doing this alone or you have a group with you, um, I've tended to just be sort of. I just deliver the information. Mm -hmm. And uh, many groups in the United States have picked up on it mm -hmm. um, and gone forward and tried to talk to people about it and lecture about it. But what we're looking for at my university, at Liberty University, mm -hmm. is to start a call out, which is to get the victims, the child victims, Kinsey's child victims, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. come forward. Uh, the Kinsey Institute's very afraid of that. They've said so uh, because. Have you spoken to them? The oh victims? yes, mm -hmm. I've spoken to. Oh yes, definitely. Really? I've spoken yeah. to victims. No question about that. Uh, so there are real victims out there, and then. So what are their general reactions? The the victims. Are they angry? Oh, of course. They're, these are people who struggled with this pain, mm -hmm. having been victimized for Kinsey's research. They have struggled with this a lifetime. They were used to. Uh, mm -hmm. Terribly, terribly. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my videos uh, that we did called um, the Kinsey Syndrome, and then there's mm -hmm. another one called uh, Kinsey's Pedophiles mm -hmm. that um, that uh, the Brits, the British mm -hmm. did. Okay, so that's the naked truth. Now you can add yeah. some more about the naked truth on pornography because people take it lightly. You know, and uh, when you uh, question them, oh, you belong to the old school, you're conservative, but I'm sure you're also interested in it and all that, but they don't know the, the effect on this. Well, there's no reason they should know, in a mm -hmm. sense, because, because the press censors mm -hmm. all the truth. Uh, when you read about the, these various murders, rape murders and so forth, uh, that have taken place, if mm -hmm. pornography has been mm -hmm. involved and it's mm -hmm. always been involved, 
nobody knows about that. I investigated. I find, oh, yeah. Okay. There's a connection with violence. Oh, absolutely. Of course there is. Of course mm -hmm. there is. Because there, people are looking for more and more of a high as they, it is a drug, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's like any other drug. It could also be a sexual, yeah, that's a sexual high. Yes. Sort of. Yes. Like you were mentioning earlier, the porno stars before, they suffered right. greatly. Either they yeah. died a violent yeah. death yes, or yes. they ended their life. Yeah, Shelley mm -hmm. Lubin, uh, a former porn s pornography star, has a, uh, a, a website called Pink, The Pink Cross. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's one of the most heartrending things to see the the pictures of these young women and young men, all hoping to be big, famous, you know, entertainers or something, to see their beautiful faces, and then to see right under their mm -hmm. died of gunshot mm -hmm. wound, you know, age 21, died of of overdose, drug overdose, mm -hmm. age 19, died of, and so forth. So. She does that on her on her website, and she's one. She was she'd been a porn mm -hmm. performer. She'd been um, a prostitute. She'd been prostituted. She had uh, been an alcoholic and drug addict. And but we can thing. see from them from and their stars, that, like Lindsay Lohan, for example, like. Uh, she goes out every night taking alcohol, drugs, mm -hmm. and having a explicit sex. Yeah. You know. And yeah. uh, being promiscuous, right? Heartbreaking. You know, so these are effects, and I hope our young could learn from these experiences. Well, one of the things that uh, that Shelley Lubin talks about when she describes her experiences, what is the horrible life on a porn set? Mm -hmm. These young women are brutalized on these sets. They they are forced into all sorts of things mm -hmm. that they have no intention to really do, and they're forced into those things, and then. Uh, after that happens, they have to pay the price the rest of their lives. And people think, oh, oh they, they see something that's just... They cheap. inflict pain on them? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Well, you were mentioning earlier uh, during our break about uh, Linda Lovelace, right? Yeah, from Deep Throat. yeah. Deep Throat. And she had a book, right? You, you yes, she did. Yeah. And she revealed that when she did that film that she made her, quote-unquote, so famous, mm -hmm. yeah, that she was beaten up and tortured to, to make her do those scenes. And she said, take a look at some of those scenes, you know, with the bruises. And she said, so, no, these young women, they go into the porn sets. They're not treated very nicely, let me tell you. They are brutalized horribly. Shelley Lubin mm -hmm. said that she thought she was going to do better by being a porn star. And when she began to do it and the brutality that she experienced and the drug addictions mm -hmm. that she went in through, she went back to prostitution. She said, at least in prostitution, somebody maybe will buy you a dinner. Mm -hmm or a drink. Mm -hmm. She says, when you go into porn, they don't buy you anything. They just brutalize you. So, so this is not just a happy little mm -hmm. smiley mm -hmm. scene. You that think the Kinsu seeing. Report uh, had a great influence on video pornography or film? Oh, absolutely. You have to break down the moral fiber of a society right. before, you, before you can bring in mm -hmm. this kind of vile material. Sure, and, and Kinsey attacked the moral fiber of the society, so much so that nowadays people say, what are you, you're some kind of moralist, you know, and my response to that always is, heaven help me, I certainly hope so, mm -hmm. because the only thing that's, that allows you to survive is a healthy human being. Well, you being, know, it's funny, be, like, uh, represent God if you are, you, moral. If you, if you are um, trying to be moral, mm -hmm. right, you become the ridicule, you know. I'm talking about the mm -hmm. fears of uh, the young people nowadays when yeah. they find out that you are a virgin, uh -huh. you're a butt of jokes, you know, and they, make, they bully you and call you names, you know, for, for being a virgin. Right. So it has a kind of a reverse kind of morality that we have right now. Oh, it now. is, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, those children have no idea they've been conditioned all their lives mm -hmm. and that uh, it's ruining their lives mm -hmm. as they call somebody else a name for being a virgin. It's one of the reasons I always like to remind people that Hugh Hefner was a virgin in college mm -hmm. because everybody was. That's the way we were raised. And he made up for lost time. He made up for lost time. Uh, and, and, of course, he's been featured in homosexual magazines, too. Mm -hmm. So Hefner has long been a, an impotence victim, mm -hmm. by the way, mm -hmm. um, and cannot function. So you think pornography is being protected by the First Amendment? The pornography has been protected by the First Amendment because our judges to date well, we uh, have problems with the judges who are users, but aside from mm -hmm. the users, it's been protected because they have perceived 
pornography as a as as a text as words and they haven't quite processed the fact that it's a long time ago we stopped with the words and now we're talking about images words are processed cognitively words are processed mm -hmm. by the prefrontal cortex of the brain mm -hmm. images are processed quite differently mm -hmm. and images go instantaneously into the non-thinking part of the human mm -hmm. brain and so so far we've had difficulty because our our first amendment guys at the on the you know in the supreme court haven't comprehended that words are not pictures Definitely. a picture is worth a thousand words but a word is not worth a thousand pictures yeah. they, they always call it the freedom of expression and the freedom of speech but actually they are violating the freedom of each one of us absolutely right? and they're overriding yeah. cognition and therefore there's no speech in order to have it's a violation speech, yeah you have to be able to think mm -hmm. if you can't think you're not dealing with mm -hmm. speech that's the reason why the problem in every society now is really conscience yeah you know they have not formed their own conscience and uh, they've not grown you know and that's really alarming because it attacks on our on, on our young and they're the future yeah the they are our future so uh in yeah. this country is we're very much affected by this because we have um, the OFWs, we have the overseas uh, right. you know, contract right. workers, That's right. and for example, uh, wives are sent to, uh, let's say, Hong Kong or the Middle East, and their husbands are left with their children or 12-year-old uh, kids, and then what they do, because they become lonely at night, you know, they with the uh, with liquor, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yes, and exactly. they have sure. this um, pornographic video, yeah. and then who's the easy victim? You pick the one that's in the house. Right, right yeah. next to him. Yeah. Well, somebody who's sleeping next to the that's next to him or the one, somebody in the next room. And there are a lot of cases like that. Incest and yeah, there rape, are. you know. There are. And unwanted pregnancies. Sure. And yeah. really the, the lives of these children are totally ruined. Yes, but you, you know, know so I, when I came over, to he over here just today, I noticed, I was noticing that your billboards no longer have any of those salacious, provocative mm -hmm. billboards that you don't have advertisements for alcohol. I haven't seen even any big uh, billboard advertisements for cigarettes. Mm -hmm. and, I'm, and I thought to myself, you know, what that tells me mm -hmm. is that there is a strong Filipino conscience and, and, and desire mm -hmm. to try, try to maintain a clean environment, that that's all been changed and that we now ha you now have this. Well, definitely before, years ago, we mm -hmm. had problems with provocative um, advertisements right. you know and a lot of flesh was yeah. being shown and uh, again those rum and mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. scotch and whiskey mm -hmm. uh, uh, sexy uh, right you know, actresses are mm -hmm. all you know in the billboards but the people were very very uh, vigilant yeah and, uh, they have written and then our counselor thank God for the local government mm -hmm. they came out with some ordinances, you know. Right. So uh, there is a hope in there's this country. There's a lot of hope. I yes, see that. There's a lot that. of hope, right. I see that. And it seemed to me that if you have a public that mm -hmm. was that strong mm -hmm. and that firm and you had a, 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 a reaction uh, by your governmental aid mm -hmm. agencies and so forth that recognized that this was bad mm -hmm. with the lust billboards mm -hmm. and the booze and the cigarettes. Mm -hmm. That, that that was These unhealthy. are images too, right? Those are images. Yes. Especially when you're in traffic. That's right. If there's a recognition. You can incite something. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that same concern needs to be shifted to this sex education programming that's designed right the now. The message is immediately exactly. thrown in, you know, while you're driving, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you can see motels all around, you know, mm -hmm. in the area. So they have this kind of uh, the temptation. But when the children are in the school right and they give those children those cartoons in the united kingdom they're horrific cartoons mm -hmm. of uh, of Very couples alarming, yeah. of couples copulating and so forth and mm -hmm. kids and so forth. well in the called sex education uh, so it seemed to me if you were able actually my son uh, can witness that he was telling you earlier yes <laughs> yes that they were yes. given the cartoon you know? yeah and cartoons mm -hmm. have always been the the medium of desensitization you use a cartoon first before you move into it's photographs a, uh, a good form of brainwashing right absolutely mm -hmm. so I'm seeing a real hope in the public 
response and in the government response to these billboard these these manipulative exploitive billboards and I'm seeing the fact that you can actually bring that same power and that same intelligence mm -hmm. and that same honor to the schoolroom by refusing to allow any of these proven wrong mm -hmm. sex education curricula mm -hmm. into the schoolrooms remember there was no form of human sexuality education in the world really mm -hmm. before Kinsey Kinsey's the guy that founded this whole field. Mm -hmm. And you do not follow the behavior of a blatant sexual psychopath, mm -hmm. a pedophile. Is related to Nazism? N yes, as a matter of fact. You yes, that? yes, you remember that from one of my books. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kinsey actually worked with a Nazi in Hitler, Germany. Well, in Germany, mm -hmm. a, young, a man who was finally arrested for sexually assaulting hundreds of kids accused of a murder, sex murder. And Kinsey had been advising this guy over over some period of time. Yeah. Yeah. That and this Aleister Crowley, he mm -hmm. went to uh, to Italy to visit this the, the den of the of a, a murdering a psychopath from from Italy. Well, this is not a healthy man. <laughs> American public knew that Kinsey worked with a Nazi pedophile and encouraged his rapes of children and possibly even in eventually the murder of this one little girl. You and I are going to be doing some experiments. This man was the singularly most important individual in the decriminalization of every single law that we had ever had that protected women and children. Welcome back to Heart to Heart Talk. We're still enjoying our conversation with Dr. Judith Riesman. You know, and so far it's been good. It's been wonderful. Yes, and then, okay. Covering Let's such nasty topics, <laughs> but so pleasantly. Right. <laughs> well, sometimes we hate to talk about it, but yeah. it's necessary. And mm -hmm. if you understand the problems of society and the problems of families, yeah. it all boils down to where we talked about. Don't yeah. Uh, to recap, we talked about sex education. Mm -hmm. You know and also the adverse effects of uh, pornography, yeah. right? And we also touch on masturbation. And right now, let's go back to the effects of pornography, mm -hmm. how it dehumanizes uh, uh, women, and also mm -hmm. at the same time, the effects on this, on the psyche of the women. Yeah, that's extremely important, of course. Mm -hmm. the, whole, the whole point of, of womanhood and manhood, yeah? Mm -hmm. Men to, to grow, to desire to be a man, to protect women, to protect children mm -hmm. and their family. That's their manhood, mm -hmm. to serve God. And that, that, their role. that is their role. Mm -hmm. And that by playing that role properly, mm -hmm. that is their manhood. Right. That is their manhood. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why in certain kind, it, the, you know, wars when guys go off and serve mm -hmm. to protect their, their nations, their, their families. Uh, they are they are inspired, you know, with their manhood. Mm -hmm. Now, when they're when men are uh, subverted mm -hmm. by this pornography, um, they no longer can care to protect and defend their women and their children, and the women are absolutely undermined by all these images. Mm -hmm. No question about it. I remember in the old days, they used to say, well, what's, what are you jealous of? It's just a picture. It's never just a picture. Mm -hmm. It is a picture in the brain, mm -hmm. right. and that brain is transmitting down into the, below the waist, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that picture. So we know that pornography is a form of adultery. No question about it. 
Uh, it certainly is. Devalues women. Devalues that wife. Let's assume it's just a mm -hmm. wife and not even just a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's assume it's a wife. Though if you say wife, there's mm -hmm. some word of endearment. That's there. right. And a lot of respect. That's right. And when you say also husband, right? Yes. When they violate that respect and that kind of term of yeah. endearment, and definitely that is so sad, right? Well, it's, it's heartbreaking, really. Um, and poor women, mostly they, they, don't, they think it's their own fault, mm -hmm. uh, that their husbands are not loving them the way they need to be loved. And the husband thinks it's her fault. Mm -hmm. And he also, you know, when men are degraded by pornography and it degrades their wives, then they feel such shame mm -hmm. as well. So mm -hmm. the whole interaction is horf is horrific. Mm -hmm. the f then they blame the wives as being frigid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they want the wives to do these pornographic things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that they've seen, and the the data are very clear on that. The research is is straightforward. Can I be personal, please? Yes, uh, I am very blessed because my husband is very supportive. You know, to my advocacy. And he's been very supportive and helpful in every way, you know, in doing I've research seen that, work. Yeah. Yes. So, what about your husband? At the time when he was alive, was he uh, instrumental also in helping you promote your cause? Well, when he was alive, I was working for Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> you know? Oh, I see. I yeah, see. I was only a songwriter he, and, yeah, a, and, see, and, okay. and a performer. When he passed and away, that's when you devoted yeah, your yeah, time yeah, to this. I was, I was able to begin. Well, that's when, when you had the time for it. Yes, mm -hmm. the time when yeah. you're a yeah. wife and yeah. a mother yeah. at the same yeah. time. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But most women don't have the support you have. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, in in their marital relationships, they don't have that kind of support, and they don't have a husband that understands the power of pornography. They mm -hmm. don't, and so well, you have two innocent people come together. Um, and and can't mm -hmm. understand why their relationship is falling apart mm -hmm. when they when the, he is focused on lust. Mm -hmm. And remember, we talked about Shakespeare, right? Yeah, right. and it mentions that pornography provokes lust, oh, anger, and sure. a lot of hostilities. So you have mentioned about a sonnet. Yes, right? Shakespeare. Maybe you sonnet. can read something. Oh, I would love to. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, my okay. favorite. It's yeah, my favorite. Okay. Just happened to be sitting here with it right in my hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Sonnet 129, and okay. I urge anyone out there who wants to know what pornography is all about to pick